Hello, in this video, we will use some event with looks command. Up till now, from events we have used hat command of when green flag is clicked. Now let's try to use when key pressed command to change the size of the sprite. If you see this event command is not just for space key. You can select more keys from the drop down and use them as events to trigger something. For the moment, we want that the sprite size should change when we press the space bar. So we will keep the selection as space only. Now let's go to looks palette and add the command change size by 10 below the key pressed command. Now you will see that every time you press the space bar, the sprite goes bigger. If you put in a negative value in change size, the sprite will go smaller. Instead of keyboard, you can also use event command when the sprite is clicked and add change size command to it. Now it will change size when you click on the sprite. You will also note that the sprite does not come back to its original size automatically even if you click the green flag. For this you can write a parallel script using the hat block when green flag pressed and add from the looks command set size to 100%. Now whenever you click on the green flag or start your script, it will restore to original size and your game is reset. So you see a sprite can have multiple scripts associated with it with different starting point. Now we will use the look command to change our background. For this let's click on stage. When we do that, you will see that your script disappears. The commands change in the palette and costume tab automatically changes to backdrop. This is because like sprites, stage can have its own scripts too. If you click on backdrops tab, the left window shows which all backdrops are available for your script. Let's add more backdrop by clicking choose a backdrop button. We will select from the library for now and you will see they will get added to the left pane. Now let's go back to the code tab. You will see a new event command when stage clicked instead of when sprite clicked. Let's select this command. Then from the looks palette, add the command next backdrop below the stage clicked command. Now you will see that every time you click on the stage, the next backdrop is displayed. You can also try using the switch backdrop command if you want to change to a specific backdrop which you can specify from the drop down. So you see in this program there are multiple scripts and all of them run in parallel. When you start the program, the sprite is restored to original size. You can change the sprite size by clicking on it or clicking space and if you click on background, the background changes. In our next video, we'll learn more how to add sound effects to our program.